Yo, what's good everyone? My name is Alex and welcome back to another behind the scenes photography walk video. In this photo walk, I used the Sony a7R4 with the baddest 85 millimeter lens. If you haven't seen one of these videos before, it's a great way to show off the gear and how they perform in real life situations, not just in a controlled environment shooting test charts. So if that sounds cool to you, I'd really appreciate it if you give this video an early thumbs up. And as you're watching, comment down below and let me know which shot was your favorite. I walked around for about two hours taking street photography and I think I got some pretty nice shots. I'm excited to share them with you, so let's just jump right to the video. This photo walk starts in a residential area in New York. I haven't been here before, so I was curious to scope out the location and see what kind of shots I could get. As I approach the scaffolding, I spot this guy at the other end and took this shot just to test out my settings. It's nothing special at all, but check out how much I cropped in from the original shot. This shows the strengths of the extra megapixels on the A7R4. Anyway, as I keep going, I notice this overpass over some train tracks. This is a pretty cool spot and I wanted to take a scouting pic so I can come back another day. But then I saw this bird perched on the rail and I wanted to test out the animal autofocus. To my surprise, it worked pretty well and it even tracked the head as it moved. The rest of this residential area was pretty boring, so I moved on to a more commercial area under the train tracks. As you can see here, half of this street is lit and half is in shadow, which I thought was pretty cool. So I post up here and wait for a subject to come into frame. As this taxi stopped, there was also this guy on a moped riding towards me. But in my final edit, most of the taxi was cropped out because I like this composition better. I love this flexibility to be able to crop and post in order to get the image that I want. Plus, the way the light is coming through the overhead tracks just looked so nice. So as I continue down the sidewalk, I see this lone guy just walking towards me. I'm happy to report that the autofocus tracked him just fine, as you can see here. And the camera was very responsive in continuous autofocus mode. But I just love the simplicity of this shot, and the colors work so well together. His brown and gray outfit just complements the beige wall on the left, along with the gray sidewalk. The green beams leading up to the subway tracks just add more earthy tones to complete this shot. I continue towards the end of the block, and I notice another lone guy reading the sign on this beam. He was strongly backlit by the sun, and I thought the light and shadows made for a pretty interesting image. I framed up the shot and waited for him to do something. He actually took a tissue out and was wiping his eye, and this added emotion just brings that human element to a simple street shot. Of course, this was just pure luck, but it ended up making this image. Now the sun was starting to set, so the shadows were getting long and warm light was filling the area. These stairs along with the old red and green station looked very nostalgic. The timing was perfect since a train was just entering the station and a bunch of people were getting off. As they were coming down the stairs, I noticed that they formed a silhouette in the window from the backlit sun. I ended up capturing this shot which is by far one of my favorite images in this photo walk. I stayed here for a bit longer and tried to take another similar shot. But as you can see with this shot, it was a fail because there was no backlit window with a nice warm glow. But this image still has that creepy cinematic vibe, which is pretty unique. As I was about to leave this location, I noticed the old man walking down the stairs. This was a perfect moment to capture because the crowd of people already left and the guy was alone. The sun was hitting the front and side of his body, creating this dramatic rim light effect. This was a super cool image and another one of my favorites from the day. At this point I crossed the street and I noticed a nice pool of light right under this old station. So I just pre-focused my camera to that spot so that if anyone walks by, I can quickly snap the shot. I love how you can change the color of the autofocus point on the A7R4. It is so much easier to see when it's red. So this is one of the shots I got and I just love how moody it looks. By exposing for the highlights, the street and the parts of his jacket are clear, while the darker areas like the background just fall right into darkness. This is a great technique to isolate your subject in a contrasty and busy environment. Here's another example where I was able to capture this family crossing the street. 
and the sun highlighting these people just draw your eye right into the subject. Finally, I was tired of this location, so I moved on. As I was crossing the street, I saw this truck down the road. There was a slice of light shining across the back of this truck. So this is the shot that I ended up taking. Since I was so far, I had to crop in to create a better composition. But I still didn't like the way it looked, so I took another shot and cropped in even further, filling the entire frame with the truck and the two guys inside it. Once again, the extra megapixels on this camera came in handy. After walking a few streets over, I see another area where this beautiful warm light was just pooling up. I framed up the shot and captured this image as the guy rode by on his bike. It's nothing spectacular, but I knew this area had potential, so I walked around a bit more. I moved past this truck so it was out of my frame, and now I can get a long perspective shot. I saw this guy crossing the street in the distance, so I took this image. The composition works great because the beams of the tracks all converge toward this one guy crossing the street. The golden hour light in the shot is so soft as well, giving it an overall dreamy feel. I really like the compositions with the beams, so I waited a bit longer to see what other images I could create. I ended up capturing this shot with a guy walking closer to my camera and you can see how the background has a nice blur to it. I then got this shot with a kid and his father crossing the street. But as you can see the light had already changed and it was no longer soft and glowy so I decided to move on. I changed locations and went up to an elevated platform to try and get more of that light before the sun set. Across the platform I saw this guy leaning against the wall just chilling. I quickly raised my camera and snapped this shot. Once again, the colors in this image work so well together. His brown jacket complements the beige wall and the yellow platform edge. And his light blue shirt and dark backpack just add that extra bit of pop and contrast to this image. Since there was really nothing else on this platform, I walked back down to street level. As I was going past this series of windows, I thought it would be super cool to capture another silhouette shot like the one from earlier. I realized that the waiting area was directly backlit by the sun and there just happened to be a person waiting for a train. I raised my camera way over my head to try and get a better shot, but the brick wall was still in the way. In the end, it actually adds some depth to the photo. So I didn't crop it out. As much as I love this shot, I just wish there would be some kind of interaction or something more than just a person standing there. But then I got lucky again as someone else came into the frame. I'm super happy with it and a vertical crop works so well in this image. It was starting to get dark fast, so I kept walking looking for some nice light. As I kept walking, I spot a beam of sunlight shining across this brick road. This entire scene looks really charming, so I took this shot as a couple was crossing the road. This looks so cinematic with the light shining down under the arch of this bridge. I waited around for a bit longer to see if anyone else would walk through. And then I see this old man with a cane. I quickly snapped this shot between cars as they were passing. I actually think this is a stronger shot than the previous one with the couple because this subject looks more fitting with the scene. The old style house and brick road just pulls this image together. Now the sun was almost set and there really wasn't that much good light left. So I decided to end my photo walk and head home. All right, so what did you guys think? Isn't it crazy how much you're able to crop in on these A7R4 files? The extra megapixels really help in post-processing to get the most out of your image. I'm super excited to keep using this camera and really push it to its limits. So if you want to see more videos like this one, subscribe so you don't miss it when they come out. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Peace.